Hey guys, it's Lisette here. And if you're anything like me, this has been you the past week of quarantine. This quarantine life is really just, I'm, I'm struggling, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little hard to stay motivated and to just keep yourself looking cute. And so I decided that I wanted to have a little spa day, a little pampering day because I need some TLC. I really need to get myself back together. If my hair looks tangled and dry, that's because my hair is tangled and dry. In order to tackle this, I'm going to pre-poo and I'm sectioning my hair in four sections. I'm taking my spray bottle, it has a little bit of leave-in conditioner mixed in with some water. And I'm also grabbing a little bit of the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner and just applying this in each section and just using my fingers to detangle. If I'm too rough with like a brush or anything, I might lose a little bit more extra hair than I really need to lose. So using my fingers is a way to ensure that I can be super gentle and I can really feel for tangles and break them apart slowly. And once the section is tangle free, I'm just braiding it up into a quick little three strand braid and moving on to the rest. This is my hair all detangled and finished. And so it's time for me to jump into the shower. Once I'm in the shower, I decided to use an exfoliating scrub for my scalp. You exfoliate your skin, you exfoliate your face, you exfoliate your body, but do you exfoliate your scalp? This is something you do before you shampoo. So I decided to give it a try and overall I really liked it. I feel like it helps to really just loosen all the dirt and oil. For shampoo, I'm using this one from Weedod. It's their Curl Quencher Moisturizing Shampoo. And so this is the first time that I was using this shampoo. And let me just say that this has definitely made it to one of my favorites because it was just really good. I'm starting on the scalp. And I also like to section my hair in two sections just so I can really get in there. And so I focus on the scalp and I just kind of drag everything downwards just to clean the entirety of my hair. And once I've rinsed out the shampoo, I'm skipping conditioner and going straight to my mask. This one is from Shea Moisture. It's their Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. It's super, super thick. It's almost like solid, but this is a really nice protein treatment that I like to do for my hair. And so I definitely like to use protein on my hair because it's what my hair likes. So I'm just using a brush to kind of like brush everything through to make sure I got it all saturated. And I'm moving on to the next section. Every time that you shampoo, make it a habit so that you just immediately deep condition because it's really important to at least once a week deep condition your hair. So while this is sitting in my hair, I'm moving on to body care. And so this is a really cool sponge that I had in my BoxyCharm. And basically it's like infused with body wash and it's kind of like an exfoliating loofah situation. So I thought it was really cool that it's like a two in one and I'm just exfoliating my body, really making sure to go in circular motions just so I can remove like all the dead skin cells. And I'm also shaving my underarms and my legs. Once in a while, I like to use one of these callus remover tools and just feel if the back of my foot is just feeling kind of rough. And so I'm using this to just file my calluses off and just remove them so my feet can be extra, extra soft and smooth. And you can just see like all the dead skin just come off this thing and it's honestly really satisfying. Mm -hmm. 
Once I've rinsed out my deep conditioner and it's time for me to finally get out of the shower, I'm taking a cotton round that's mixed with a little bit of water and a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and I'm just applying this all over my face just to clean it and to sterilize it before I shave my face. I don't like to shave like my entire face all the time and so there's certain key areas that I like to stick to which is like the mustache area, around the brows, and also the sideburns. Once I'm done with this, I'm washing my face and something that I like to do now is I really don't apply too much water before I wash my face. I find that when you don't use a lot of water and you just let the soap work on your skin, it really gives you like a deeper clean. To exfoliate, I'm using the Instagram product Wishful, and so I was kind of skeptical if this would work, but basically it's an enzyme scrub, and it just completely removes all the dead skin, and you can literally see it just building up, like especially around my nose, that's where it mostly was for me. It just removes it, but very gently. It wasn't anything that was irritating, it wasn't really fragrant. Overall, I really liked it. And so next I'm using a face mask. This one is like an avocado clay mask. And so I'm hoping that it helps with the redness and helps with my breakouts because my skin has been acting up. A quick trick that you could do to exfoliate your lips really quickly is just using a toothbrush and just going in circular motions. And once I'm done exfoliating, I'm using this Dermalogica Nightly Lip Treatment. And so it has like a cooling sensation and it just helps to really like smooth out everything on your lips and keep them moisturized. Being quarantined, my vacation plans are gone. <laughs> They're ruined, I'm so upset about it, but that doesn't mean that I can't feel good and feel like I'm on vacation. So I decided to use this gradual tan from Loving Tan, and it's basically just like a moisturizer that gives you like a golden look. And I'm applying this everywhere but my face, and I can easily use makeup to match it. I love the way that this made me look overall. It just gave me like a really pretty golden glow. It helped to even out my skin tone. It's finally time to remove this mask. It's like completely dried, so I'm just taking it off with a warm washcloth. And this mask really helped to refresh my skin, and my face felt super soft. After drying my face, I'm just applying my Retin-A. This is a prescription topical treatment that I apply every night. And on top, I'm using the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. This is really good for sensitive skin and it also is just really, really moisturizing and helps to just bring that moisture back. Finally, going back to the hair, I'm using that Shea Moisture Leave-In that I used in the beginning part of this video to detangle my hair. So I'm just applying this all throughout my curls and with a satin scrunchie, I'm just putting my hair up into a high loose bun. For my edges, I'm using a little bit of jojoba oil, just applying it on my edges and also a little bit on the back of my head. And this is the final look. I feel so much cleaner, so much better, and I encourage you guys to do the same. Have a little spa night, pamper yourself. If you like this video, then please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.